Paul and Silas bound in jail, got no money for to pay the bail. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Paul and Silas begin to shout. The jail door open and they walk on out. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. What are you looking for? What were those two disciples of John looking for when they started stalking Jesus? You might be thinking, oh, finally, we're out of the season of Christmas and it's time to dig into earnest in the gospel according to Mark because it's the year of Mark, right? But first we get John's version this week next week, Mark's version of the calling of the first disciples. Um, partly since the Mark gospel is shorter, um, it's especially in this year of Mark when we get a, a more generous sprinkling of John readings. This is the year when there's, I think, a six-week period, uh, maybe four or five-week period, in, uh, usually in the summer, when we do that difficult John chapter 6, I am the bread of life. We had that first reading from Samuel, which is such a wonderful reading about call, right? Samuel, Samuel, here I am, Lord. But he thinks it's his master Eli calling. No, go back to sleep. Here I am, Lord. No, go back to sleep. Oh, here I am, Lord. No, go back to sleep. Oh, it's God. Elijah, Eli finally realized, oh, that must be the Lord speaking to you. And... um, So go back to sleep in the temple. Don't sleep now in the church, but go back to sleep. And, um, ah, here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. There's actually some spicy stuff that um, we don't hear about if you want to go back and and look um, further um, what follows right after that. But the gospel, while in a way it's about call, Um, it's so much about looking. So I was thinking, you know, we talk about the call or having a calling. What about the look and having a looking, at least before the call? Um, And what are these two looking for when they um, turn away from John and start following Jesus? First, John, the look is all over this gospel. John, who is watching, says, behold, look. There's the Lamb of God. And then they go follow Jesus. And he turns around to them and says, what are you looking for? And he, they say, uh, uh, where do you stay? Um, come and follow me and you'll see. Come and you will see. You will see. What are these two looking for? Any thoughts from you all about what they're looking for? I'm not looking for a right answer, but the Messiah. Oh, shoot, you gave away the punchline. No, (laughs) one of them. The Messiah, the one who's going to save them, the one who's the answer. What else? What are they looking for? And, you know, because why are they looking for the Messiah? What are they looking for? To fill a void. Hmm. Why don't they just get a donut? They realize they're looking for more, looking for a leader, somebody to follow for direction, deliverance from their lives, maybe even from the Romans. 
Community, somebody said, I think. Looking for community. Yeah. Looking for answers. Yeah. A higher purpose. Thank you for your generous sharing of this. Um, so today is not only the beginning of Christian Unity Week. Um, it's also um, tomorrow is um, Martin Luther King Day. And um, by the way, um, maybe one good homework assignment for Martin Luther King Day is to go see that movie Selma that Father John Paul talked about. How many have seen it so far? It's really a good movie, huh? And um, what were these people, um, Martin Luther King and the other people with him during the 60s and the Civil Rights Movement, what were, people, what were they looking for? Any thoughts about that? Equality, change, freedom, a better tomorrow for the other generation, dignity, and a recognition of that dignity, justice. looking for a teacher to get them there. And they were probably looking for some of, you've already mentioned a couple of the same things that these two first disciples of Jesus were looking for. Um, looking for the things that all human beings look for, to look for meaning. And, and those disciples too, certainly they were looking for um, a kind of freedom they hadn't experienced before. What about you? What about people who um, come to the Newman Center on Sundays? What are they looking for? Any thoughts about that? Cookies? <laughs> A teacher to get them there. Yes, yes. Jesus, looking for the Messiah. What are they looking for? Eucharist. Community. A lot of the same things, huh? Freedom. We're looking for justice for our brothers and sisters who don't have it. Today is, um, I, I meant to say that during the, that civil rights movement in the 60s, speaking of Christian Unity Week, was a great time of Christian unity and disunity, but um, the movie Selma shows that there's, uh, I think he's an Orthodox priest right up there in front at, at one of the marches. Um, you know, um, there's Catholics there. Um, there's this one um, woman that's prominent, but I don't know if she gets a word in edgewise. There's one, there's one scene in which she tries to say something and the other guys, the guys say something else. But I looked her up. She's Diane Nash and it turns out, um, as far as I could tell, she's a Catholic. At one point she wanted to be a nun and she's still alive and still working for civil rights and justice. Um, a, some Catholic priests um, get killed. Um, or I don't know if they were Catholic priests, actually. Um, so it was a real uh, unified Christian effort. So today is um, the, our first monthly gathering for Burundi Border Barrio, our big long-term outreach project, which we're doing with Good Sam. So what a great way to start off Christian Unity Week is with that, to work together with our brothers and sisters from Good Sam and to work with our Christian brothers and sisters in Burundi on the border and in the barrio, that is, more locally. What is it that our brothers and sisters in Burundi want? A voice. Who said that? Thank you, Julie. Um, I just heard a voice. They want a voice. They want justice. They want freedom. 
They want meaning, purpose, community. What else? Education. Resources. Opportunities. Health care. A leader. <laughs> and they went, Bill, I think you could be their leader. And no. <laughs> but the, um, I think they have some of their own leaders. But we can stand with them. They want that. They want friends to stand with them. And our brothers and sisters um, living on the border on either side, our brothers and sisters trying to cross the border here, what do they want? Some of the same things. Um, we especially think of economic um, dignity, freedom. Um, they want so much. They want meaning, community. They want um, for their families what they're not able to provide for them. And similarly, in the barrio, that is more locally here, the way we're using this term, people who um, don't have food, who don't have homes, what do they want? Pardon? Quality of life. Again, some of the same things, right? Dignity, respect, justice, and homes and food, and people to walk with them. What about Jesus? What does he want? So, so he... Um, he looks at Peter and somehow sees something in Peter that he wants and calls Peter, calls Simon now Peter or Kephas or Cephas, the rock. What is he looking for? What is Jesus looking for? Any thoughts? Hmm? Commitment. When Jesus looks at us, he's looking for he's looking for our gifts, he's looking for our faith, he's looking for our hearts, right? That commitment. And he's looking for that in each one of us. And he sees that even when we don't. We're looking for so many things in our life. Um, and um, sometimes we look in the wrong places. Sometimes we get distracted. What are we looking for? Where do we look? And ultimately, we're looking for Jesus, right? We're looking for Jesus. And so we want to keep our eyes on the prize. We want to behold that Lamb of God. Look upon Him. We, where do we see Him? We see Him in one another. We see Him in our brothers and sisters. Um, Burundi border and the barrio. We see, our, we, we see Jesus in our brothers and sisters here who still cry out for racial justice in our country. That civil rights movement continues today to keep our eyes on the prize. Got our hands on the freedom plow, wouldn't let go of the journey now. Keep your eyes on the prize, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on, Burundi border barrio, crying out for freedom, come on, let's go. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on, hold on, 
Hold on, keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. The only chain that we will stand is the chain of standing hand in hand. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. 